in a marriage, you're supposed to share everything with your partner, right? Yeah. What's mine is yours. Yes. Well, except when it comes to flying. According to Daily Mail, there is an increasing number of men insisting on flying first class while their wives sit in coach. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Rude. For example, 30-year-old Tina Kumar says her husband, Aaron, regularly travels in business class for work. When she accompanies him, he buys her a cheap seat in the <laughs> economy section of the plane. She says his excuse is that he needs to prepare for all of his meetings and that he needs a seat that will provide him proper rest. So what does she need? Right? Exactly. Wow. So ladies, would it fly with you if your man did this? No, absolutely no. not. She Agreed. needs a comfortable seat to put up with that bull, man. Yeah, yeah. that is rude. That is what so much chivalry. Yes, and like equality. Like, ladies first, or equal. Yeah, like, okay, I'm just gonna keep it real. Mm -hmm. This has happened to me before in this situation. Israel has more frequent flyer miles than I do, so he gets upgraded, and sometimes because I don't fly <laughs> as much as he do does, sometimes <laughs> my seat don't be in first class, okay? Right. And I have got to say, my husband would never do, my husband would never do this, not just to me, to anybody. anybody. Yeah. He wouldn't do this to my mother, he wouldn't do yeah. this to Tam, he wouldn't do this. Yeah, yeah. If we were flying together, he would be like, first of all, his, the first option for him always is, babe, you take my seat. Mm -hmm. But then I don't like to fly by myself. Mm -hmm. So Israel has actually downgraded to Aww. sit with me and coach if I can't, if the both of us can't be in yeah. first class. And I love, love, love this. He actually found, I had like a 14 year old kid sitting next to me once and he asked the little kid like, would you, mind upgrading, you'll be in first class. And it was the kid's first time in first class. So he oh, gave him so his sweet. seat in first class. That's and me and Israel, awesome. we're like, yo, we'll be in coach together, but we in coach like this. <laughs> and I love awesome. that. My husband did How the same thing. How can you do that? Israel's he did the exact a good same man. thing. I no, I did this. Class. Uh, no. What's no. no. He's a good man. Wait, but no. if it was your, your husband, I can understand, mm. like, I no. won't know. I couldn't but, understand. Okay, but, okay, in this case, you gotta understand, it's a price difference. Yeah. So the thing is, is that some, I think, like, in it, shoot, because it's, um, it's pounds. So okay, it's yeah. like 300, like, let's just say for the sake of it, Kay. it's $2,500 for the first class, mm -hmm. and her seat was like $500. Mm -hmm. So he didn't want to pay uh, extra 2,500. So then you get but both in coach. Yeah. Yes. But no, but the thing is, is that sometimes it depends on the person, because it's like me, I'm a bigger person. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, whoever my boyfriend is, he's sitting in, in coach, because I'm not going to pay for would two Would you do that? Dogs. Okay, Lonnie. Yes, you I would do that to you. Yes, I would. <laughs> I would put your ass Wait, in coach. Well, that's, that's right. Jack Set. Up. My no. wedding. What? Tell it. Go on. You started it. Tell it. Oh, come on. Go what on. What happened? Tell it. I don't tell know. it. Go, go but, tell it. Okay, because it was my wedding, everybody was in, I guess when you travel <laughs> abroad. No idea what's about to me Paris, either. I have no idea. There were, I know what she's saying. Everybody was gonna tell it. ride in business class, right? Not okay. me. Wait, hold on. I upgraded myself from business to first class, my husband and I, because it's my wedding. Like, yeah, of course. So I upgraded. You had a dress you had to So carry. I get up there to first in business class. <laughs> I know that you guys know you were in business. Yeah. Yes. I get to first <laughs> class. Guess who's sitting right next to me? Oh. Ding, ding, ding. She was like, oh no. She left Yachu behind <laughs> in business and Lonnie uh, was up in the front with me. I was like, where's everybody else? Cause <laughs> I never knew that. Yes. Lonnie was in first class with me for my wedding. <laughs> Yes, she was right up there like the second bride. Like, yes, sure champagne, ordering things. I rolled up in first class. And we, we were like, where are the rest of the girls? She's like, I don't know, sweetie, but you want some more champagne? I was okay. like, oh. Check this out. One of my first jobs where I could afford a ticket to Paris, because the tickets to Paris are like 2,500 and above for first class. Yeah. Right. I took my mom to Paris because she's never been to Paris. And, she, and you know, Vietnamese are a little bit, they share a border yeah. with colony with the French. And so she's like, I want to go to rich people. Let's go France. <laughs> I'm like, yes, let's go. So I bought her first class tickets. On the day, we get into our seats. I'm 1A, Mama Mai's 1B. I look to 1B, there's a white man sitting there. I'm like, where's Mama Mai? She says, goodbye, honey. She walks past me into coach. She returned my first class ticket, pocketed the money, and then stole liquor from the cabinet to drink in her coach seat. Wow. <laughs> pocketed, the my mama pocketed my money. I, love I want that mom. refund, mom. You give me back my money now.